Hey y'all, happy Thursday. We're digging back into where we left off yesterday with these shoes of peace. And this passage from Deuteronomy is actually um, from Moses blessing the tribes before he dies. So before his death, it's a, a blessing that Moses imparted, that Moses gave over Israel. And so this is one of them that... Um, Thy shoes shall be iron and brass, and as thy days, so shall thy strength be. So going back again to those shoes. Under thy shoes shall be iron and brass. Interestingly enough, the Amplified Version reads nothing like the King James Version. And I have done some digging into this, and I don't quite have that all figured out yet. I don't know why it's so different, because there there are usually some differences, but these are not the same words at all. And so the Amplified says, your castles and strongholds shall have barns, bars of iron and brass. And as your day, so shall your strength your rest and security be. Now, <laughs> your castle and your stronghold. The stronghold in the Old Testament, what they're talking about here, is your safe place. And so it's interesting that in the King James Version, it says, thy shoes shall be um, iron and brass, and then under thy shoes shall be iron and brass. And then the, the Amplified, <coughs> excuse me, would say that your castles and strongholds would be iron and brass and bronze. And so the, equating shoes and castles and strongholds, your safe place, and then tying all of that in with peace, which Paul would have known these scriptures. I mean, Paul was, he, he says of himself, um, you know, the most studied, that he knew the law, knew the history. So Paul is very familiar with the blessing that Moses gave over the Israelites. And so that he calls those shoes, the shoes of peace. <laughs> I just think it's amazing. And so I, I, I tell you, I'm sharing this verse with you yesterday and today because of the prompting of the Holy Spirit, because it is for somebody. If it's for me, then it is for somebody. But to look at the peace as your stronghold, to look at the peace um, as strength and firm foundation, which that we will get into some tomorrow. But this peace is a place of refuge. It is a place that you can find shelter. It is a pace, place, again, that you can find strength, the strongholds and the castles. And then the promise that comes with that. Your shoes, or under your shoes, will be iron and brass. And as your days, so shall your strength be. And in the Amplified, it says, And as your day, so shall your strength, your rest, and your security be. And I don't know about you, but I am rejoicing right now in the Lord that with these shoes of peace, that when I have them on my feet, that my foundation is firm and that I can rest in the peace of God. I can rest because I have peace with God. And I can dwell securely. I draw my strength from Him. And so when I dig my feet in, and those brass spikes dig into the ground beneath my feet, I am held firmly and securely in place. And that is what peace provides. Again, peace is not, these are not peace and quiet shoes. It's not the absence of anything. It's not silence. But it is strength. It is security. It is rest and restoration in the midst of <laughs> taking territory and standing your ground. 
peace in the midst of. You know, and I, as I was talking with you, I was reminded um, in Psalm 23, which is such a, a beautiful, just beautiful picture of the Lord and his care for us. Um, but these green pastures and that he leads us. Beside, so the Lord is my shepherd, of course. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, pastures of tender grass, and he leads me beside the still waters. How peaceful that would be in that he provides the peace. And you know, these still waters, which we talked about um, when we did our study of Psalm 23, a lot of times the shepherd would have to dam up the water to make it still. Because the sheep in the way that they are created and, and made, formed, they cannot drink from running water. They would drown. And so the shepherd would have to dam up the stream or the river so that it would be still so that the sheep could drink. And so I just, I want to pour over you today. I want to encourage you today. Deuteronomy thirty three twenty five, that your shoes shall be as iron and brass. And as your days, so shall your rest, your strength, and your security be. That is shoes of peace. And that's regardless of what comes along your day. He doesn't say, as your good day, so shall your strength be. Or as your easy day, so shall your strength be. He says, as your day, so shall your strength be. We'll pick it up tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.